Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 14 of the chapter Alcohols, Phenols and Ethers. We discussed the physical properties of alcohols and phenols in the previous video. In this video, I would like to solve the example or explain the solved example of your textbook that is example 11.3. Arrange the following sets of compounds in order of their increasing boiling points. What did we study about the boiling points? What are the factors that affect the boiling point of alcohols and phenols? We studied that alcohols and phenols usually have higher boiling points than uh, the corresponding other compounds that have the similar that are similar in their masses. So any other class of compound that has a similar mass to the alcohol or phenol that you are considering, if it has, it is some other class, then its boiling point is lesser and the boiling point of the alcohol and phenol is more because it forms hydrogen bonds, which the other classes of compounds may not be able to make. Now the second thing is that the smaller the size of the molecule, the lesser the boiling point, the larger the size of the molecule, the heavier the molecule becomes, more is the surface area, so more are the van der Waals forces, therefore the greater is the boiling point. So smaller size, less boiling point, larger size, more boiling point, if we are talking of alcohols only or phenols only. <laughs> then the more branched a structure is, if you take the same alcohol, for example, you take butane 1 all and butane 2 all. Butane 2 all has a branch on the second carbon. The all is attached on the second carbon. So the compound becomes, as branching increases, the compound becomes uh, more, more and more spherical. Therefore, the surface area decreases. As the surface area decreases, the boiling point decreases. So what are the three things that we have to be on the lookout for when we are going to solve this problem? One. If the size of the compound is small, if they are, we are talking only of alcohols and phenols, we are comparing different alcohols and phenols, then the smaller the size, the lesser the boiling point, the greater, the larger the size, higher the boiling point. All right. The more, if we are talking of comparable, this almost the same number of carbon atoms and alcohols having the same number of carbon atoms, but different structures, the greater the branching, the lesser the boiling point. Less branching, if it's a straight chain, it has a higher boiling point. If it, there is more branching, it has a lower boiling point. And if you are comparing uh, alcohols and phenols with other classes of compounds which have similar masses, then the alcohol and phenol we know as a fact has higher boiling point because of the hydrogen bonding that it forms with, uh, with each other. So let us now solve this question. These are the part A of this gives you six compounds that is pentan one all. I've written the structural formula of all of these. Pentan one all, butan one all, butan two all, ethanol, propan one all, and methanol. So after writing down all of these in sequence, what do we see? Pentan one all. This is pentan, and the all is on the first carbon. Okay? One, two, three, four, five carbons and OH. It's a straight chain hydrocarbon. It has five carbons. Butane one all, one, two, three, four. Out of these two, what do you think? This is smaller in size. Okay? Because it has four carbons, this is a longer chain. It has five carbons. The smaller the compound, the lesser is its boiling point. One, two, three, four. OH. Sorry, this is the second one. 1, 2, 3, 4, but the OH is on the second carbon. So it is the same compound, but a different structural formula. This is not branched, this is branched. The more the branching, the smaller is the size, the more spherical is the size of the molecule, therefore it has lesser boiling point. So until now, what, the three compounds that we have seen, this has the most boiling point, this has less than this, and this has even less than this. CH3, CH2, OH. There are only two carbon atoms, much smaller molecule. Therefore, this obviously is less than all of these. And CH3, CH2, CH2, OH, this is propanol. So propane one all. So this is larger than this one. So this has, the boiling point of this compound is more than this one. And this is the smallest. So the lowest boiling point will be of, will be methane, methanol. So methanol 
has the lowest boiling point in the order of the increasing boiling points. The next will be this one because it has two carbon atoms. So fourth one is ethanol, methanol, then ethanol. Then comes propanol, propan, and since we are telling the structures, methanol, ethanol, propan, one all, and then come butanols. Out of the two butanols, which one is smaller in size? This one. So you will say butane, two all, will be smaller in size, and butane. One all is larger in size and the largest molecule here is pentane. One all. So this is the order of increasing boiling points. Right? This is the order that you will, the boiling point increases in this direction. Right? So I can just write increasing boiling point B in this direction. Methanol, ethanol, propane, one all, butane, two all. Let me just check. Methanol, ethanol, propane, one all, butane, two all, butane, one all, and pentane, one all. That's it. So let us come to the second part of the question now. This is also another example where you have to arrange them according to the increasing boiling points. The molecules are pentane, one all, normal butane, just butane, no all, no oxygen, nothing. Pentanol, it is an aldehyde. And the fourth is ethoxyethane, an ether. All right. So now we have different functional groups. So here you have to keep in mind both the things, the all all the three factors. The third factor will also come into play where you have uh, other compounds with comparable molecular masses. The alcohol or phenol will have higher boiling point than those. So let us see here. This is pentane one all. This should have a pretty high. Uh, boiling point. The others are not alcohols at all. So first of all, we understand that this has the highest boiling point among all other categories. How about these now? Out of these, this has one, two, three, four carbon atoms. This has one, two, three, four carbon atoms. This has oxygen in it in addition to the four carbon atoms. Therefore, this one is heavier, greater mass. The heavier a molecule, the more difficult it is to boil it. So the least boiling point or the lowest boiling point will be of butane. So let us write normal butane will have the lowest boiling point. Right? Normal butane then will come this one. Ethoxy. Ethoxy. Ethane. Right? This is the second compound. Ethoxy. Ethane. Then you have all the four, four atoms, four carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. Both of them have the same comparable molecular masses. Five carbons, how many hydrogens? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hydrogens. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the command. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This has 10 hydrogens. Anyway, almost just two hydrogens. The difference of two hydrogens is just a difference of two AMUs, atomic mass units or um, unified masses. Not much of a difference. They are comparable masses, but we know that whenever you have compounds of other categories, other functional groups, which are of comparable molecular mass, the one which is an alcohol will have a higher boiling point. Understand why. The hydrogen bond is formed when hydrogen is attached to an electronegative element like hydrogen, like oxygen. In this case, I especially wrote the bonding to show this to you, that here the double bond is with, of oxygen is with carbon. It is not with hydrogen. So carbon is not as electropositive as hydrogen. So the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen is not as high that it will allow hydrogen bonding. For hydrogen bonding to occur, the hydrogen has to be attached to the electronegative atom. Here, hydrogen is attached to the, to the more electropositive atom of these two. If it was attached to oxygen, then it would have formed hydrogen bonds and we would have got confused. But here, there is no chance of hydrogen bonding. Here, hydrogen bonding is forms and therefore, <coughs> even logically we understand that this will have a lower boiling point and this will have a higher boiling point. 
So we'll say one, two, three, four, five. This is pentanol. Pentanol is the next one. Pentanol. And the highest boiling point is of one, two, three, four, five. Is penten one all. Right? So this is the example that I wanted to do with you. Now, right now, we are going to start with the uh, with video number 15 also where I'll be starting the chemical properties of alcohols and phenols. So with this I'll wind up this video. If you wish to watch other videos of this chapter click the link that appears on top of your video and uh, if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up. It encourages me. I feel good when kids like to study from me and uh, subscribe to my channel. Recommend it to your friends because if it helps others I would be very happy as many children can use it as possible and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry come back to my channel we'll see you again bye bye